Why, when I go Darius, do you go Fiora? Okay. My weak points don't work like other people's weak points. I swear to you, there's like my weak points and then there's everyone else's weak points. Do, do. I feel like, do we go Ninja Tabby rush against Fiora or Phage? I feel like, feel like probably Ninja Tabby. I'm oh, losing the first Infernal, it's not too bad. We'll get the second one. There won't be a second one. Don't we have Lux? Isn't Lux supposed to be super broken? I suppose when you have AD carry Yasuo and Talia, makes it a bit difficult. Did, did Zin Tao just walk up with no ninja tabby and auto attack me to death? Huh, I feel like this game's a little bit doomed. I'm gonna be honest. Can you root her? Can you, you don't have mana, shit. Oh, what well, you do have mana. Hey. Honestly, this game doesn't look as unwinnable as I thought it was going to be. Well, Rise is going bot. Talia's top. Oh, I guess I go mid. It's a very shitty game. Dude, yeah, the fact that this fucking Zin Zhao has been AFK and brushes trying to kill me for like five minutes now. I got destroyed. Wait, that turned around. What happened? Wow, that was unlucky. Should I have flashed into that? Well, that was worth it. I'll be honest, this is one of the jankiest, stupidest games I think I've played in in quite some time. It's been one janky, stupid game, dude. I'm starting to believe that the Zin Zhao is just ghosting me and following me around. Yep. They will greet you as heroes. Okay, well, I thought the game was kind of turning in our favor. You, uh... Control. Are you arguing? That Fiora has personally killed you nine times, and that is the only reason you have nine deaths. To the mandates of tyrants. Don't type, or you're going to make some other insane excuse. You're just not good and don't deserve to be in this game. Um. I'm actually a little bit amazed, really. Just so we're clear, again, the only reason you have 10 deaths is because Fiora has personally killed you and nothing else. There is literally 
No other reason why you died. Dude plays Talia in our AP role. I ran it down top. Didn't I, uh, actually have 20 CS on him? I have brain damage. Really? You're not? I'd really like to get more of this. Is that actually bannable? He's like fucking 12 years old. What the shit? Holy fuck. He had to cover top. It couldn't possibly have been that he just wanted my farm top and so he ran top. I wish he didn't just feed like a maniac, steal my lane randomly, then say he had to? Forcing me to lane against two range champions is Darius. I, I feel like actually submitting some of this stuff. This is some nasty stuff he said. At the very least, I feel like I should report him just in case uh, he does that to other people. To be honest, I feel like the only reason he didn't have more deaths than me is because he spent the entirety of the game dead at the end. He was only four more deaths than me, but I seriously suspect it was just because he spent the entirety of the game dead. Uh, I feel like he actually had reached the death threshold by the end. He, he just, he literally was just running up and dying. The game kind of sucked. I feel like we were actually on the verge of winning. They sent everyone bot after me, which was fine. Like, let's actually be, like, let's actually, like, look at that play from a, a purely factual perspective. They sat two bot for over a minute trying to catch me. Fine. They caught me, they blew Zin ult, they blew Fiora ult. Okay. Meanwhile, my team caught and killed Vlad, arguably their strongest team fighter, and they killed me, arguably one of our weakest uh, players, right? At that point, the rest of the game was 4v4. They had no Fiora ult and no Zin ult. Fiora with no ult then proceeded to somehow win a 4v4, to which they bitched at me for them losing a 4v4. Honestly, low key, I feel like reporting that. I, I feel like, what do I do? I call people retarded, right? Like that's about as far as I go. I feel like he went a little bit further than that. Can someone, okay, honestly, can someone actually get me the screenshot of that chat log? Because I feel like actually reporting that because low key, I feel like as an LPP member, it's a little bit high. Plus he stole my lane. He stole my lane and then he said he had to do it. No, he just wanted the fucking farm. Oh, I had to. I had to go top to equalize the lane. No, he just wanted my farm, asshole. I couple people are saying I'm trying to report him. I'm not trying to report him at all. I ask like, hey, LPP members aren't supposed to be doing this, right? I'm not really reporting him. Although at a certain point, I feel like I'm kind of obligated to, you know, kind of a dick move that I'm like trying to, you know, not make a mockery of the LPP in several different regards including turning off all chat just so that like I don't flame anymore and then you got Yasuo saying stuff like that and I'm like hmm okay so that's probably Nico top consistently Olaf is a counter to Nico diamond plus and masters plus Olaf is considered the hardest counter to Nico Nico's annoying because she does way too much fucking da honestly okay here's what you guys have to consider if a champion had a one second route but it was a point and click route if you just had to walk up and people were rooted right if there was a one second route but it was a point and click route that would be a strong route if there was a one and a half second route but it was a like like if there was a three second route but it was extremely slow and didn't have a wide hitbox it wouldn't be a very good route so so the one second route would be stronger than the three second route despite it being one third the duration right nico's route is particularly problematic because it basically has no startup animation. It's basically an instant cast. It travels extremely fast. And if it catches you in a minion wave is a Morgana length route. It's one of those things that I don't quite understand. Like why doesn't Riot consider that an issue? That it is such a fucking powerful route. What time did I have to react to that? I walked up, put my W over him, and like, I was just instantly rooted. Like, it was, it was just already in me. I have to believe that's because it used to have to travel through minions, right? So they figured, oh, it has to be fast. But now that it doesn't have to travel through minions, why the fuck is it so powerful, right? Like, it used to be 0.5 seconds root if it didn't travel through minions. So it was kind of fine that it was so fast, and it was kind of fine that it had no startup, because it kind of formed like, Hey, this is a desperation move, you know? So when it formed like the last line of her defense, right? When using it not in a minion wave, 
and just getting the 0.5 seconds when that was like how it was used it was sort of fair right it was sort of fair that it was so fast because it was like she's literally cashing out her ability to get a 0.5 second root right and i definitely 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 feel that they removed a shitload of gameplay when they made it just a regular route with 0.7 to 1.5 second duration. Like, I knew it was gonna happen. I read, like, there's so many times where, like, I read patch notes and you guys are like, Duh, Nico is bad, that doesn't matter. And I'm like, well, that's gonna be a really shit change. And then, like, three months later, you're all like, yeah, why did they do that change? It was a bad idea. The same fucking people. You know, who are sitting there saying, Oh, hey, Shinshin, you'll complain about anything. Anything I do just proves how wrong I am. If I won lane, people would say, Well, you were wrong. Nico's underpowered. If I lost lane, well, you're just on tilt. Nico's underpowered. Meanwhile, Nico is one of the most popular top picks for a good reason because she's incredibly fucking powerful. And this guy's playing quite poorly. Why is Nico not nerfed yet? Uh, they said they were nerfing her. See what I mean, though? Like, Haha, -ha, I killed Nico Twitch chat. That proves how bad I am at the game or good I am at the game. Well, it'll never prove anything because you guys just want to believe I'm terrible no matter what. Like, look at that fucking duration! Okay, but like in all seriousness, at this point, she's just tilt dying. By the way, I literally picked Camille as a counter pick to Nico. Imagine I had first picked and he picked Nico. Me doing well doesn't prove anything other than counter pick meta sucks. And champions like Nico that need to be counter picked suck. It's not it's not fun. It's not fun for anyone. Man, that went exactly as I planned. Ow. The test of good manners is patience. Sometimes scars are the most Shit. Honestly, I gotta give it to the Master Yi. I feel like his big balls were just perfectly sized for me.